Today we begin a journey for an energy activation with Kabumi. So make yourself very comfortable. It is the light worker such as you that goes to sleep in the evening and many times wake up tired. Often many don't experience a full night's sleep and won't. It is the light workers that feels the stab in the heart when someone is killed for you understand the complexity that unfolds surrounding the experience. Therefore it is you, all of you, who currently in the future times will work very hard to bring the reality and teachings and the complexity of the universal laws to you, brothers and sisters. It is you who will stand on the shores of your lands and without any fear greet the birds that will come flashing from the skies. It is you who will hold others in much higher vibration whilst your fellow man sweeps clean the lower levels of consciousness. Therefore, it is also you have to and must experience levels of total trust in your being, trust and complete surrender into the world of invisibleness, where you have to. And again I repeat, you have no choice. Your current situation and the new energy unfolding will be linked through your energy chains, for it is part of your purpose plan to assist and allow the new worlds to unfold. This is done through your connection to the planetary grids, the crystalline grids and the magnetic grids. So now please straighten your spines and beloved ones before we commence with the energy activation, please concentrate on your breathing. Breathe in through your nose and hold. Hold it for a few moments, then breathe out through your mouth and again pause before inhaling. Repeat this for a few times, please. And continue breathing as you relax into this energy, so that with every inhale, in breath, you inhale, you become more conscious of your own divinity. And with every inhale, with every exhale, give thanks for all that would serve its purpose and is to leave your space now, for you no longer require it with any of your four lower bodies. Allow the oxygen to flow into your bodies as it opens up your mind and relaxes your heart. Allow the oxygen that you inhale to be dispersed through every part and particle of your body. Visualize the tiny microscopic oxygen particles being transported by your blood into all your body systems. See how it is transported into the cells and acknowledge the exchange of carbon dioxide removing all the waste products from your system. Allow the process of circulation to unfold for you as you allow your mind to come to rest and your heart to be filled with enlightenment. Beloved ones, I want you to imagine that you are walking through the most beautiful forest. It is lush, green and beautiful. As you walk along the beautiful pathways within the soft grass, become aware of the effect and texture of the grass and how it feels under your feet. For a moment, Stand still, bend down and pick some grass and rub it between your fingers and smell it as I ask you to become intensely aware of not only the grass under your bare feet, but 
but also the transformed properties of the crushed grass between your fingers. Become aware of the smell created by the crushed grass and then let the grass fall from your hands as you return it to the earth. Stand up and continue walking. This is your connection to the earth. As you make your way between the tall trees ahead of you with its tree tops on high and its dampness down below. Become aware of this, the hindrance of the sun by the trees and the shadows reflected through the absence of the rays obstructed by the trunks and leaves. Become aware of the intervals of sunrise, peeking its lovely heads through the treetops, sending down its rays of light into the forest ahead of you. The grass beneath your feet is now transformed into sand. Look around you and observe all the fallen seeds awaiting fertilization. As you walk along, become aware that all around you there are many wild animals of all species roaming freely. Let your imagination go wild, observing all these peaceful wild animals. See them and smell them. Now set the intention to call forth two specific animals to accompany you ahead on your journey. Choose two that you are attracted to, or that are attracted to you. Don't limit yourself, even if it seems crazy at first, for even the wildest line will be tamed by your heart, for that is what a light worker is all about. Light workers know only love and light, and is aware with every step they take. Be it green or brown, be it grass or sand, they are aware. A light worker is aware of the shift in consciousness that they have come to create, and thus aware of the full support extended by the animal, mineral and plant kingdoms. The loved ones greet the totem animals on either side of you. Touch them, stroke them, and indicate for them to follow you in discovering more light. Make your way forth with your totems by your side, venturing deeper and deeper into the dense forest. As you travel further, this forest increases in density. Feel the chill and increased dampness and embrace it. As the density increases, feel the presence of your guides, even closer than ever. And then, after traveling for some time, you begin hearing the sound of running water in the distance. Making your way to the edge of the forest, you find ahead of you water falling over rocks, or some may see this as a waterfall, and for some perhaps, tranquil water flowing downstream, over rocks along the river, ahead of you in the distance is the most beautiful lake with its waves crashing softly and sweetly on its banks. The lake stretches before you this massive green forest, climbing out the hills and cliffs on either side of the lake. The green is so intense that you eat it with your eyes. The wisdom contained within these forests is so great, you can there the bark, you can actually hear the bark grow. The roots so old you can sense their flow. So now come to the water's edge and notice directly ahead of you 
a canoe floating. Step deeper into the water and pull the canoe towards the water's shore, assisting your animal guides to get into the canoe. Once settled, row off across the waters with your seemingly unending lake ahead of you and the lush deep forests stretching up the hills on either side of the lake. After rowing for some time, you notice that the air is getting warmer as the cold begins to lift and drift. As you travel along, you notice the change in the surrounding landscape as the forest becomes less dense, changing into bushes and lush foliage. Notice that there are still massive trees about, but now sparser in appearance. Still floating on the lake with the lush bushes on either side, you notice in the far distance the shoreline as the lake comes to an end. Make your way towards this and when reaching the shore get out of the boat, pulling it closer to the water's edge. Standing in this shallow water, take note of its purity and clarity and feel its slight fresh chill against your skin. Take note of the little stones and sand under your feet now, becoming aware of the texture of the water. Indicate to your animal guides to jump out and follow you as you make your way to the beautiful beach ahead of you and feel the softness of the pure white sands between your toes, supporting the soles of your feet as you walk across it. Make your way towards a tiny hill ahead of you across the hill and stretching out ahead of you is the most beautiful fat valley of the most exquisite flowers you've ever laid your eyes on. Filled with colours you can't even begin to express. It's filled with uncountable species you never knew existed. So make your way into this valley of endless colour and breathtaking fragrances with your animal totems following on either side of you. Become aware that even though there are hundreds of thousands of unique and different flowers, each are created in absolute perfection, each a perfect image reflection of the grids of creation each a mirror of divine perfection reflected to you by the grids in and around the planet. Every shape and imaginable proportion is all there. Incredible. So now invite your two totem guides to take a seat alongside you. Make yourself comfortable between the flowers. Sit and connect to their perfection with all the incredible colours surrounding you. Now connect to an energy area slightly higher than the eighth chakra, say about 20 to 30 centimetres above your head. First of all, see this energy as a clear, crystalline triangle pointing upwards, crystalline in colour and vibration. Then connect with another triangle pointing downwards, forming a Star of David imprint. Once this is clear to you, allow a circle to form around the Star of David, completing the template. Once you are comfortable with this, Allow the interlinking pyramids to transform into 3D. In other words, give weight and body to its form. Thus, not flat energies, but full body. Once you are comfortable with this, using your mind, set the outside ring 
into motion, circling separately from the inner pyramid, circling in a horizontal fashion in a clockwise direction, then allowing the pyramids to begin their flow of energy in a vertical swing. You have the outer circle swinging horizontally and the inner 3D star in a vertical fashion. Now become aware that every point edge of the pyramid becomes an interconnecting point of communication, connecting you to the crystalline grids, the magnetic grids, and more consciously to the grids of human consciousness. The energy of the outer circle serves as your angelic antenna allowing only the highest expressions of love and wisdom to come through for you. The circle represents completion and so does the interlinking pyramids. The Star of David reflects absolute divinity and the mechanics of both moving in separate and opposite directions connects you to higher communication, a gift to the light workers. So beloved ones, being still and at peace within this field of flowers with your animal totem guides on either side of you and your new magnificent crystalline chakras activated above your head, I would like you to connect sending unconditional love, passion, compassion, understanding and above all trust out to the world. Notice that each magnetic point at the end of your triangles are sending out these signals radiating unconditional love and divinity to all that is. See how the circle of completion on the outside reflects to you the gift of self-acceptance and the ability for you to accept your own divineness and perfection. Now move your attention to the levels of your eighth chakra and visualize the golden pyramid in this area and accept that as a light worker you are able to understand what to others may make no sense. You are able to trust your own sanity through others, though others may question this. Now move your awareness down into your seventh chakra, into the area of your crown. Connect to the most magnificent golden and pure white energy here and understand and accept that you are a co-creator of your reality. Understand and accept and embrace the duty you have taken on this lifetime in support of the awakening of Lady Gaia. Now gently move down and connect to the third eye within the sixth chakra. Connect here with the beautiful energy em emerald in colour and connect to the crystal I like in this area. Understand and accept that this lifetime you have set out to accomplish much more than you were previously possible as you are in support of the awakening of your own divine consciousness. So now taking your attention down to the level of your throat chakra and visualize a huge diamond cut sapphire and as always Lord Saltic supports this centre gifting you this precious stone as he places it within the area of your throat. Be at peace as you trust your divine truth. Now take your attention down to the level of your heart and at this level visualise the most beautiful pink energy and acknowledge that as you receive unconditional love, 
show you first. So now your attention, take your attention down to the level of your solar plexus and embrace your truth, allowing you to say, I am as I am. Then move your attention in about two centimeters below your navel to the level of your sacral chakra and visualize the most beautiful violet energy accepting and embracing the magnificence of your create ability. Now connect to the energy area between the base and the sacral chakra. Visualize the citron crystal is in this area as you acknowledge that your purpose this time around is to truly make a difference to this world. Now taking your attention to the level of your base chakra, embrace the presence of the garnet stone set in pure white energy surrounding it and come to understand and accept that you are the physical manifestation of your belief system, then so too are you this time around in service to the greatest good of all, that is. Acknowledge this, beloved ones, the time is here for all of you to acknowledge your divinity and be the light workers and the warriors that you set your divinity and be the light workers and warriors that you set out to become. Know that you're able to connect through your crystalline template and the ninth chakra through the pyramids. Thus the two paramount energies at play on the planet being the divine masculine and feminine locked into place through the act of divinity. Appreciate this area as it awakens, allowing a much higher vibrational influx of knowledge, understanding and ultimately wisdom for you. Before ending this activation, please visualize all of you here sitting in the same field of flowers. Your totem animals next to each of you as you all sit in a circle as you are physically doing, facing each other, noticing each other's divinity. Connect to the golden pyramid within the eighth chak chakra of the person directly opposite you and then raise your consciousness just a little as you observe the awakening of the first phase of the ninth chakra energy of that person. See this in its most purest and divine state and allow this new energy, the crystalline pyramid circle template, to affect the perfection of opposites. Allow, allowing your communication abilities to increase, connecting you as a keeper of planetary grids with the grids of the universal lattice. Please breathe this energy in, acknowledging it, accept it, own it and be it. Please straighten out your spine, stretch out your legs, arms, rotate and flex your ankles and wrists. Ground yourself properly. Open your eyes and drink some water, please. Welcome back and please make sure you are not still swinging on one of the grids out there. Beloved ones, beloved brothers and sisters of the light, understand that the awakening of this new energy that is referred to as the ninth level energy center is an extreme and intense energy for you as some may have noticed, I repeat. As it is extremely intense, so your own intensity will increase. The ninth chakra is a direct link between you and the grid surrounding the planet. This is a reality that you have to embrace. Even though some don't trust it fully the way that they should, we certainly hope that after this meditation transmission you will be just that much closer to the awakening reality effect that you have on your planet not even to mention the people upon your planet. 
So stand in great worry, wonderment and joy as you acknowledge your place as a light worker, understanding it, embracing it and trusting it. And so it is. Namaste my friends. Thank you for being on this journey with me today as well.